If a business participates in a very specific market related to waste, electrical and electronic equipment, of course the IFRIC number 6 would be applied. And of course, this is also important to the ACCA Strategic Business Reporting Exam. So this is why we'll study this IFRIC in case a potential case scenario may pop up in the actual exam. Now, let's see a particular case there. For example, the Techco, a manufacturer of electronic goods, sells a product that will immensely needs to be disposed of under its country's regulations. So WEEE -E -E just stands for Waste Electrical and Electronic Equipment Regulations. In the year one, the company sells 10 thousand units of product and they estimate the cost to dispose of each unit at the end of its use for life will be five dollars there. So if that's the case there, we'll estimate to spend fifty thousand dollars because for ten thousand unit per unit we'll need to incur costs of five dollars each to get rid of those per the environmental law. So the best estimates will be $50,000, and this is a, uh, according to the laws and regulation requirement. So this means that we've got a present obligation per the IAS number 36, provision accounting. At the same time, because it's per the law, it is more than 50% chances that you will have to pay for it. And you can make reliable estimate, okay, based on your past experience. So if that's the case then, meeting with my own mnemonic POR criteria, you will need to account for it under the IAS number 37, provision accounting. For that $50,000, all you can do is to debit the expense and to credit to increase the provision liability worth of $50,000. And of course, things may change. So for example, in the second year, if the estimated disposal costs increases by another one dollar, so if that's the case then, we increase the provision liability by ten thousand dollars because we take one as the additional increase and times by ten thousand units there. Just to be a change in accounting estimate, we need to use the prospective adjusted method, which means according to the IAS number eight, so make sure that you're ready for that. Now, just a few paragraphs, make sure you can copy that directly into your exam. So for example, a liability for such will need to meet with the POR criteria per the IAS number 37. Make sure you always mention about the measurement of liability. It's according to your best estimate so usually involving the fair value, perhaps a bit of guesswork, will also be acceptable. Okay, so making sure they're ready. Just a brief introduction of myself, Steve Chen, the fellow member of ACCA, an author for four accounting books related to IFIs, the current ACC exam marker, and I hope this section will help with your future studies. Bye-bye. APC Accounting for your future